Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. So this video was requested by many of you on my Instagram. So I thought it'll be fun to do it together on YouTube. And I will be showing you the process of painting leaves with uh, my sword brush, which I will show you in a moment. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, then keep on watching and please read the description for all the products used in today's video. I will explain what all I'm using here as well. So yes, let's get started. So I'm um, working on my Mosery sketchbook here, uh, which has a very uh, nice paper quality and here I'm just trying to uh, mask my borders so that I have some clean edges after doing my watercolors I usually do that with my watercolor and the results are really nice I love how the finished piece look and what I'm doing here is I'm putting uh, the tape on my desktop and reducing the stickiness a little bit so that it's easy to take it off after I'm finished working on it So uh, I will be using these two pretty colors, uh, I don't know how to pronounce them but I'm gonna try. It's uh, The darker one is called Perilin Green and the lighter one is Ter Wirt. I don't know, I, I'm sure I said it wrong but uh, the name on the color, uh, the number on the color is 637 and 460. So I'm gonna use uh, these two colors for my leaves and I forgot to add the yellow one. And the yellow one that I'm using is a cadmium yellow deep. It's a beautiful yellow. And we're gonna start uh, making our base now. any um, big brush uh, here right now because we are just making the base for the leaves I'm using some yellow on the corners and then using the same green which I took and I'm just uh, trying to make a muted base Guys, no, I'm not a watercolor expert, so uh, please excuse my language, but I'm trying my best to explain uh, in the easiest way possible for everyone to understand. Thank you. So this was the sword brush which I was talking about. I will leave a link below for the exact one that I'm using. Uh, and this works very nicely for the leaves that I will be painting today. So I'm starting with the, uh, the lightest shade um, and uh, making the leaves. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with the lightest shade and then I'm gonna build the layers up. So this is gonna be like the first layer then I'm gonna use two or three more layers depending upon how dense I want my design to be if you know what I mean so um, you will see if you'll understand more by watching so let's uh, keep on watching
So I'm gonna let this layer dry before I uh, start with my second layer of leaves. So know that I'm just using two colors. You can dilute uh, the colors with adding more water. So more water you add, the less pigment you have. And then you uh, have the lighter shade of the same color. So I'm using just the two colors, the lightest one, and then uh, you will see how I'm gonna keep adding more color and make the leaves darker. Now I'm using this gorgeous muted gold color called Walnut from Colero and this is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. You will see now. And for these tiny leaves I'm using a tiny brush of course. Uh, it's from Winsor & Newton and it's one, of, uh, it's, it's one of the finest brushes of Winsor & Newton. So now lastly we're gonna peel off the masking tape and see how beautiful the edges are looking and your piece is finished. Thank you so much guys for watching and uh, I would love to know what next you want me to do and share with you all so please uh, leave in the comments anything that you want me to create and I will do my best to do it for you. And check out my Instagram for more inspiration and more such pieces and more lettering videos. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.